Pancreatic cancer back in the headlines this morning. As we mentioned earlier, talk show icon Jerry Springer passed away, and it was reportedly due to this very disease. It affects more than 64,000 Americans a year. The five-year survival rate is only 12%. But this weekend, you can join me in helping give pancreatic cancer patients a fighting chance by signing up for the PanCan Purple Stride taking place tomorrow in Parsippany. I'll be there as the MC, and here to tell us more about the weekend's event and why it's so important is one of the organizers, Todd Cohen, and pancreatic cancer survivor Lisa, Lisa Eidelberg. So welcome, Todd and Lisa. Good to see you both, as always. You too. Thank you for having us. So, Todd, let's begin with you, right? Pancreatic cancer claiming the lives of more than 50,000 people this year, right? Why does it seem that pancreatic cancer cases are actually on the rise? Well, like, like, like you said, uh, 64,000 Americans will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer this year. The, the problem is um, symptoms of pancreatic cancer are often very vague. They can include abdominal um, discomfort, mid-back pain, unexplained weight loss, uh, jaundice, uh, loss of appetite. Um, and, and the problem is once it is diagnosed, it's usually in a late stage. Mm. So... Um, there's no early detection method, uh, and obviously there's no cure. So right. uh, we are seeing the numbers rise uh, in terms of uh, a survival rate, but 12% is still uh, as the five-year survival rate is unacceptable. Right, and I, like you said, it could come on quick. And, and again, it's, it's reports this morning about, about Jerry Springer, but it, it, some people didn't even know they had cancer, and then he just passed away so quickly. So, Lisa, you, though, you know, I've talked to you over the years. You always impress me. You beat all the odds. You're an eight-year survivor of pancreatic cancer. Take us back to the beginning, right? Nine. Nine. There you go. Yeah. Nine years. Okay. So it's been a journey for you. Uh, take us back to that moment. You know, and I always ask you to just kind of tell us when you realized something was wrong. I think it's so impactful for people to hear. Yeah. So um, I had had an upper right back pain for years that I just thought was muscular as anybody else would until one day in June, I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was yellow. Um, I went to a hospital and that first hospital told me that I would simply need my gallbladder out. Mm. Thankfully, I went to another hospital on the urging of my brother and brother-in-law where they did a specialized endoscopy and I woke up in recovery to my husband crying, telling me I had pancreatic mm. cancer. I am one of those rare breeds where I have no family history. I was yeah. not overweight, no diabetes. Um, also looking back, I had extreme itching. And that happened sometimes when the tumor is pushing into the bile yeah. duct. So I was 53 years old, healthy otherwise. Uh, I ended up with surgery, chemo, radiation. And at that time, the survival rate was a mere five wow. percent for five wow. years yeah and it's, it's incredible, uh, you know, and, and, and I guess the, the big question here is screening, right? Because you always hear about different things and going to get screened. Is there a screening for pancreatic cancer? There is they not work on a blood test. Test. early detection. Yeah. So, so, Todd, you know, and I, ever since I got involved with this organization, I've always said to people, do you know where your pancreas is? <laughs> and some people say, no, I have no idea. <laughs> so kind of help us understand this. So the pancreas is located deep within the abdominal cavity. Uh, it's behind the stomach. It's in front of the spine. It produces digestive enzymes that help the body use and mm. store energy and also regulate blood sugar levels. I work in a middle school in uh, Essex County, and every year we have a week where we do like a pancreatic cancer information. Yeah. And you're, you're right. Many of the kids are, they have no idea what the pancreas right. is. So, it, you know, it controls your sugar levels. So many times uh, there are patients that, that have pancreatic cancer that do become diabetics because of that. Right. So this is why the events like tomorrow are so important, right? PanCan Purple Stride, just one of 60 events taking place across the country. Thank you for asking me back. I'm always honored to do this. But what's the goal here of this event, right? Obviously to raise awareness, but also money for research. And both of you, let's begin with Lisa first about how important this event is. So the event is so important because we need to raise awareness and funds for research and, you know, in my head, the end goal is to find an early detection test mm -hmm. so we can increase the survival rates and have more people like myself beat the odds and be a long-term survivor. Yeah. And that is why we do these walks, is to raise the money and raise awareness. Yeah. All right. We are out of time here, but uh, thank you again for both of you. Uh, hopefully tomorrow's going to go off without a hitch. Even though there's a rain, we'll be there. Okay. We're going to be there raising money, bringing the energy, walking for a good cause. I'll see both of you there tomorrow morning, okay? 
It's Anderson not like my hair is going to get wet. It's not like your hair is going to get wet. <laughs> okay, Todd. Uh, throw it up, Dave. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Right, there it is, everybody. You can join and still donate to Pan Can Purple Stride tomorrow. The Arbors are Persephone event opens at 8 a.m. It's always a good time, rain or shine.